What is up guys? Today I'll be showing you how to create this sniper rifle bullet. So let's get started. Let's delete these two, start fresh. Just change your video dimensions to whatever you want. 720, 1280. Um only thing I have these three materials, which is nothing. Just three simple tutorials with some colors and noise in the bump. Alright, so I've included a link in the description to give you this bullet. You can either go on Google and type in bullet or whatever you want to find a bullet similar to this. You'll be tracing it in Cinema 4D, so if I if you use the one I supply, just right click on it and go to comp, copy or uh, save image as and save it to wherever you want, then go back into Cinema click the middle mouse button click it again when you're in the front not the top not the right but the front once you're there you want to hold down shift press V as in velocity and your attributes will change you want to make sure you're in the back tab and where it's image and a space and you want to click on the icon to the right select the image that you saved or found yourself open it up and you probably have to rotate it negative 90 degrees center it on the x-axis to wherever you think is centered that's all you need to do alright so let's go to the bottom of the bullet I want to work on the left side you only mask the left or right, not both, but only one side of the bullet. And as you can see, it gets cut off right here. So I'm going to do the left side. I'm going to click and drag down from the spline. Click Bezier. Highly recommend you use that. First half, or the first part, I will just go around simply. so I can get the points down and then after that I will work on correcting the points I want to put four points there for this little indent and then there's two ways to do it you can either continue on make this bullet nice and smooth and round or you can just make it nice and sharp I am going to make it nice and sharp. So you can do that. Alright, so now you want to make sure the last spline point is at zero on the x axis. That'll make it nice and close at the top. Click apply. Do the same thing for the first. Make sure you're in the move tool for this so you don't add more points. apply now we're just going to go around fix up these points all I have to do is just copy this X position make it nice and even hold down shift move this arm so it's just straight up and down like so. Do the same thing under that. Select the next point. Paste the X position. Apply. Do the same thing. Hold down shift. Move the arm so it's straight down. Select the next point. Move this guy straight up and down same thing with the next one I'm going to grab this point copy the X position again paste it onto the next one hold down shift for the arm straight down this guy's off a little there we go 
And let's move this guy over. Can't really see that point. Hold down shift so you don't move both arms. Do the same thing for this one. There you go, that looks good. You want to make sure that the spline is going inward, not outward. So that way it doesn't look like it's popping out. Let's keep going up to the next spline right here. I'm going to move this guy in a little. Alright, let's make sure it's not going out. Alright. Move him back a little. Hold down shift. Just put that guy nice and straight so you get a nice sharp edge right there. As you can see, it started going out. You want to fix that. So let's move him out a little. Copy the X position for him again. Apply it to this one. Move him in a little. Grab the next point. Now, I don't know why I put it there, but you want to move it in to about here. As you can see, it goes indent a little and it goes back out just a tad bit. All right, copy the X position for here. Apply it to the next one. Move him up. Grab him, have him come out, There's no arms on that one. We'll just have to do this. Grab this guy. Make him his arm come way out here. Uh, looks about good. Let's see. Yep. Looks pretty good to me. Make sure this one is at zero as well as the first one. Alright, now that we have half of it covered. What we want to do is click and drag down on Hyper NURBS, select Lath NURBS, click on Spline, drag it to the Lath so the arrow is pointing down so it becomes a child, and now you see you have a couple more lines. Now click the middle mouse, and now you see, go back to the perspective, now you see we have our bullet. All simple, all done. You can either just apply the silverish to it. You have your bullet, you have one thing. Or we can put two materials onto the bullet. First, let's select the lath, crank up the subdivisions, increases the segments around of the bullet. Now with the uh, subdivisions cranked up and with the lath nerve selected, right here is the uh, make object editable. It's underneath the layout button. So let's click this and now as you can see it makes the entire thing one polygon. What that means is now I can select a point and I can just drag it out and it will deform it. So, let's undo that. Now, let's go to the right viewport. I think this is the viewport, right? Right display, I should say. And then, you want to click the live selection. And then you want to click on the Use Polygon Tool. It looks like one-sided square of four. So select that and make sure that 
only select the visible elements is not selected. And that way you can just highlight, you can just click and drag and everything you want to be a different ele uh, material will become and you'll and it selects the segments on the other side of what you're selecting. Now with them selected go to selection set selection. Now what that does that means you can apply different materials and do more stuff with those separate ones. Now you want to go back into the perspective view drag your orangish goldish material onto it and then you want to just click and drag the silverish or what other material you have onto the left but make sure the gold is after the silver or your material your first material is after the second that way the gold will be on top of the silver for this part so you can render this out as you can see it's just like that so there you go guys let me know what you think um, be honest this is my first tutorial so let me know what I did right let me know what I did wrong if you want more tutorials on After Effects, Vegas, Cinema 4D, Beaujeu let me know alright guys thank you